Good afternoon, thanks for tuning in. My name is Mrs. Brown and I teach at Robert Eagle Staff Middle School. Over the next two weeks, we're going to have a lot of fun envisioning and reading and writing and learning about a place called Celilo Falls. So, Celilo Falls is something that we'll learn about next time, but today we are gonna practice using our envisioning and sensory detail skills. And you should have, in front of you, you should have either your packet or you should have a piece of paper and something to write with. It doesn't matter what it is, okay? All right, well then let's move forward. This is Monday, March 23rd. So what I want for you to do is I want for you to picture a place in your mind, uh, a place that's really, really super special to you. And I want you to think about using all of your five senses. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to model for you what happens in my mind and then you can follow. So I'm thinking of a place where I grew up, a place in Toppenish, Washington called Cemetery Road. So just take a few minutes to think about all of the cool places that mean a lot to you. What you need to do now is just think about those details and see if you can write down some details. Write them down on your packet and the page provided or just at the top of the paper that you're using. And as you're writing down, I'm going to model how I use sensory detail to envision places in my mind. So first thing I have to do is I have to imagine that I'm there. And the first thing then is I have to take a look at what I see. So when I think about Cemetery Road, I think about this long white fence. And then along that fence, after that fence, I see my friend's houses. And then I see my house. And I see in front of my house, a water pump and a lawn. And then I see two willow trees. And I see this little tiny cinder brick gray house that I thought as a child was so big. So I see all of that. I see my dad's truck in the front yard. Uh, and then I'm going to move down and I see some more of my friends. I see a pasture. And then I think all the way down at the end, I see the cemetery. It's called Cemetery Road for a reason. And it's Elmwood Cemetery. And I see it down there and I can see all of the gravestones and I can see the gates and I can see the pillars. Can you see them? See if you can do that with me. And then as the road moves in, I can see a ditch, an irrigation ditch full of water. I can see the bridge going over and then I can see um, in the background, I can see a whole bunch of fields, fields that will likely be planted soon or have crops already growing. So that's what I see. Now I have to think about what I hear. And in the summertime, I hear birds. I hear these wonderful birds that um, you don't really hear uh, in central or in Western Washington, you hear them in central Washington, Eastern Washington. They're amazing sounds, amazing trilling sounds. And then I hear, I hear the sprinklers because everybody watered their lawn. And so I hear the ch -ch 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 of the sprinklers. And that means that I would also hear lawnmowers, lawnmowers buzzing everywhere. My mother mowing the lawn, my friend Adelis's mom mowing the lawn. And I can, that, I can hear that, I can hear that in my brain. See if you can hear. Okay. So the next thing that I would be thinking about is then what do I taste? And taste sounds kind of funny when you're talking about a place, but I can taste. Because in the summertime, we never went inside to get a drink of water. We always drank straight from a rubber hose on the outs uh, that was uh, hooked up to a spigot outside. And I can taste the metal from, from the, the hose. I can taste the cold, cold, cold water. And it's amazing we never got sick, but I can taste that. I can, I can like it like I'm drinking it right now. So think about what you could taste uh, while thinking about your place that you're envisioning right now. So I'm gonna go to the next sense and I think about what I feel. And in the summertime, I feel it, I feel the sun on my head. So I feel my head is hot, my hair is hot. Uh, I feel 
a gravel road underneath my feet. And it wasn't just any gravel road. It was this road that um, had gravel, but it was stuck there with tar. Uh, these smaller country roads, the city wouldn't pave them with asphalt or with concrete. They would roll a thin layer of hot tar and then they would put gravel on it and then they would wait for the cars to drive over it to kind of pack it down. Well, they did that in the summer, then that meant that we would have to walk through that, walk on that to get to our friends' houses. And we never wore shoes really in the summertime. And so I remember the feeling of that gravel in my feet, on my feet, and then I can um, also, uh, I can feel the tar, the warm tar sticking to my feet that I'd have to clean later. And then I think about the smells. Tar has a specific smell. And so to this day, whenever I smell tar anywhere, if somebody is putting tar on the roof of a house, it takes me right back to Cemetery Road. So not only can I smell, smell that, I can smell freshly mown grass. And I can smell the heat coming up from the freshly mown grass. I can, I, it's like the, the air smells different when it's hot and humid like that. And I can, I can smell just summer. So those are the types of ways that you can envision your special place. And as you're envisioning, please jot or sketch uh, the things that come to mind, the details that come to mind. And you can do that on your own after this lesson, because this lesson won't be very long, or you can uh, do that while I'm, uh, while I'm modeling here. So one of the things I did want to ask you is that as I was describing, could you see it? Could you envision the place? Were you following me down the, the road, the tar and gravel road along that white fence? Did you go with me all the way to the cemetery? And, um, and so I wonder if when you were envisioning, you actually envisioned this. This is the real cemetery road. And here is the cemetery. Here is the ditch, the irrigation ditch that I was talking about. And then there's the gravel road right there. And then those are the fields in the background. There used to be something here. This is an old picture, but not as old as I want it. And then, oh, you can see more of the, more of the gravel road right there. But one thing that I didn't think about, and now I, now I do, is that this tree right here, this tree was where Darren Kistler built a three-story tree house with electricity and with running water. The dude was amazing. And so I see that. And so I picture that and I picture the green paint that he painted all of the various levels. Oh, and then the cemetery. So did you picture something like this, the cemetery? We would ride our bikes here because this actually was asphalt and it was nice and smooth and tar wouldn't get stuck on our, on our tires. But right here, these four stone pillars, my friends and I, we would crawl and climb on top of these and we would sing at the top of our lungs, imagining that we were on some TV show and we were, and we were rock stars and we would just sing, sing, sing. And then we would go all throughout and take a look at the take a look at the gravestones. Kind of sounds a little weird, maybe a little scary, but that's what we grew up with, so we were used to it. And we would make up stories about the people who had died there. So when you're envisioning, see if you can draw what you envision. And so this is this is what I envisioned in my mind before I even found the pictures on Google Earth. So what I want you to do is I want you to, as you're writing down the details, maybe you can draw a picture. Maybe you could color a picture. And, uh, and in fact, next time I will show you the picture that I will draw of Cemetery Road and, uh, and show you what, what I envisioned because I, because I drew the picture earlier but I drew it without seeing this first. And I want you to see if my envisioning was, was accurate. So in the packet, you can hear more about my memories. You can read more about my memories, I should say. And, um, and maybe use that as inspiration for your own writing. Again, right now you're not writing anything other than those sensory details, um, the things that you envisioned as you were thinking about this really cool special place. 
So today that's what we did. We envisioned a location. We were using all of our senses and we drew them and we wrote them down either in your packet that you got from your school or the packet that you downloaded and printed or just on a piece of paper. Again, you don't need the packet to be able to do this uh, activity with us. So next time, we're going to learn about a really special place and it's special to all of the Native nations and tribal people in the Northwest. And that place is called Celilo Falls. And I, we're also going to be using our envisioning skills as we hear and as I read to you a story about being at Celilo Falls. So until next time, keep envisioning, maybe write a little bit more and we will see you next time. Bye.